All right, if you're using Google Docs and you want to apply different types of styles, so I have some listed here. All of these can be done with a little shortcut that we can use so you don't have to go up to the menus at all. Ironically, we have to start by going up to the menu because what you need to make sure is when you go to Tools and Preferences that you have a check mark next to Automatically Detect Markdown. All right, so after you make sure that's checked, you click OK, and then this document gets the superpowers and you don't have to use your mouse anymore to do the styling. So let's start out with bullet points. I'll press enter to get a line with normal text here. And all you have to do for a bullet point is just use an asterisk and a space. All right, so that just puts the bullet point right in there. And then you can type in your first item. When you hit enter, it knows that you're still doing bullet points and you can just type in your second item. All right, so that was pretty quick, right? We didn't have to use the menus and have to move our hand over to the mouse. And we're going to do the same for numbered list. And for numbered list, all you need to do is start out with a one and a period, and then hit the space bar. So that's your first item there for the numbered list. You hit enter, it automatically goes to two. And we'll do the second item here, hit enter again. And if you hit the tab key, it will nest it and give you a sub item automatically. All right, we'll go down to the next item. It's inserted some space here. We'll ignore that for now. And now you can do check boxes without going to the menus. You just do an opening bracket. So on a US keyboard, that's right to the right of the P key. And then you close the bracket, hit your space bar, and there you have a checkbox. So if that's a task, you can come in here and mark it as done, right? So you've actually been able to use Markdown for these items for a while in Google Docs. Whether or not you knew it's another story, I didn't know it. But they just recently added more, so we'll talk about these new items also. This is April 2022. If you don't have these yet, you will probably have them soon. The first example is italics, and I'll just put it right off to the right here. For italics, if you want to emphasize something, you can just start out with an asterisk and don't do a space, but we want to emphasize and end it with an asterisk. Okay, so even though this is still a header, it applies the italics to all of these letters. All right, we'll come down to bold, and for bold, we're just going to do two asterisks. We'll say that makes that important. The asterisk, cut it off. And for italic and bold, if you guessed, you may have guessed right, it's three. All right, strike through is a little bit different. It's just a minus sign, but that is how you can get rid of something. And now we'll do a link. So let's come down, we'll add a little bit of space and we will link to this uh, site is, and we'll do this, this, the name of the link. So the name of the link will be site. And then right after it, you wanna use the parentheses Type the name of the website. In parentheses, hit space. And there you go. You have a named link. You didn't take your hand off the keyboard. Last thing I want to show is headers. So you can do an H1 all the way to an H6 by using the pound sign or a hash, whatever you want to call it. If we look above at the actual word headers, it's a heading two. So we'll go below. We'll do three pound signs and we'll say next subject. So that is an H3. If you saw that we have a document outline here, in the next video, we're going to go through how to create a table of contents. It's going to work similar to this, but it will be embedded in your document. See you in that next video. Thanks for watching.